Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. In the fourth anniversary video, I stated that the work on Kirchhoff's Law is completed. As I mentioned before, there are now 12 videos related to Kirchhoff's Law on this channel. But today, I decided to release a 13th video on the subject in order to further clarify the issue for those who still have questions. In this series of videos, I discuss that in the laboratory, the most elementary test of a black body can be produced by drilling a small hole in a material of interest and then monitoring the radiation contained within the cavity with an infrared camera. This method has been widely used in physics as illustrated by this theoretical paper by DeVos. Such tests reveal that if the small hole is drilled in a material with, which is a good absorber like graphite, the cavities will be filled with radiation representing the temperature of the walls. However, if the cavities are constructed from a highly reflective material, they will be filled with radiation which is incident upon them in a manner completely unrelated to the temperature of their walls. This led to the conclusion that real black bodies can do work on the way to thermal equilibrium and that perfectly reflected cavities cannot. The later achieved thermal equilibrium through conduction, not thermal radiation. That is one of the reasons that Kirchhoff's law is false. Perfectly reflecting cavities are incapable of interacting with incident radiation. They merely reflect it. Therefore, the radiation they contain is governed by the radiation which is incident upon them. That is the basis for resonant cavities in many branches of physics. The radiation contained in a perfectly reflecting cavity is therefore undefined and unrelated to the temperature of the cavity wall. This is seen in this formulation of Kirchhoff's law itself. In this equation, E over A becomes 0 over 0 since the emission and absorption of a perfectly reflecting cavity is 0. As a result, the expression of Kirchhoff's law becomes undefined in this case as we saw in this video. Clearly, not all cavities are filled with black body radiation. Some cavities, if perfectly reflecting and subjected to coherent radiation, can sustain standing waves. They do not contain black body radiation. Now, to bring the point home, I wish to turn my attention to Haruni's antenna. As we saw in this video, Haruni's antenna is a hemispherical radio antenna located on Mount Aragats in Armenia. The main dish of Haruni's antenna can be considered to be an edgeless, nearly perfectly reflecting antenna as signals emitted by the surrounding ground and forest are prevented from reaching the detector located deep within the antenna. But if you think about Haruni's antenna in light of DeVos's paper, you will quickly recognize something more. Haruni's antenna can be considered as a cavity in temperature equilibrium with its surroundings. Obviously, its walls are essentially at the same temperature as the ground which is surrounding the antenna. So the question is, does Haruni's antenna contain microwave radiation near 300 Kelvin? The answer is clearly no. In the microwave, Haruni's antenna has a self noise of less than 3 Kelvin, as Paris Haruni himself reported long ago. The antenna is essentially devoid of microwave radiation. That is a good thing for making astrophysical observations, of course, but at the same time, it is a sure proof that Kirchhoff's law of thermal emission was always false. The astrophysics community needs to be more impartial and forthright. They want antenna dishes with low self noises, but the only way that is possible is for Kirchhoff's law of thermal emission to be false. Astrophysics embraces Kirchhoff's law in order to keep their big bang, black holes and gaseous stars and at the same time they utilize devices to study the universe which demonstrate every day that the law is false. Is there any wonder why astronomy is in such a conflicted state? Well that is all for now. If you enjoyed the video today, Promote the channel, mention the video to your friends and to your local astronomy club, support me with a like and subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below and I'll see you soon 
on our next video.